Hannah's emotional death scene everyone's been talking about. Can you break it down for us, what it was actually like to film? There's so much that went into it, like six months, I think. I'd, I'd amount it down to like six months of, of living in her shoes and, and telling her story up until that point. Part of it, I think, was, you know, working with uh, specialists. So I worked with Rebecca Hedrick, who is a, a specialist in adolescent mental ill health, uh, Rebecca Kaplan from It's On Us. So I worked with professionals to kind of understand from that point of view what someone might be going through if they were in Hannah's shoes. And then also on the other side, um, you know, building up Hannah's sort of profile and her memory and living through her. And then on the other side, I think, it also came down to director Sir Kyle Patrick Alvarez and his uh, vision and how he wanted to film it so that it kind of was sh filmed in a way that didn't that didn't glamorize it like when you watch it the shot is uh, it's unflinching it, it just it's one shot and it's not beautifully shot or, or there are no kind of tricks or, or colors it's just you see it as is Some music yeah there's no it's just silent. Just yeah, no music. Very real, yeah. yeah, it's just, it's quiet. And I think those were very deliberate decisions. What's it like to watch yourself back? You're just finding yourself very emotionally drained afterwards. You know, 13 Reasons Why Season 1 it was my first job, my first role. And you see Hannah in the first few episodes be super full of life and happy and, and so confident and almost kind of just like a rocket that jets into this story. And um, I think part of what makes it so tragic is you see so much life kind of disintegrate into in into what she you know eventuates we do focus on serious content there are definitely elements of lightness and i think that was also in part to tom mccarthy who directed the first two episodes one thing he said that was really valuable i think for all of us was keep it light you know keep it light you've got a long way to go and i think you need you need to highlight you know the the moments of love and wonder and joy because it, it, it balances the moments of grief or agony and, and, and sadness. I watched it and I was so, I just remember taking a moment and like really absorbing it. I thought it was the most haunting thing and very raw. Uh, yeah, and I think Catherine did a phenomenal job. Well, that's the thing. I mean, we were telling this story about a girl who took her own life in the aftermath of that. And we realized that if we were gonna tell that story honestly, we could not look away from the act at the center of the story. We had to be very clear how painful it was, how tragic it was, how it was something to be avoided at all costs. But we knew we didn't wanna make it look pretty and we didn't want to make it look uh, gory or be gratuitous. So our brilliant director, Kyle Alvarez, said we're going to shoot it very plainly. No fancy angles, no camera movements, just straight on. We're not going to look away from it. There's going to be no music. It's just going to be very, very matter of fact, and that will be everything it needs to be. And he was right. It was incredibly painful, but also I felt incredibly truthful. When everyone's spirits are quite low from, from shooting, what do you guys do to pick yourselves back up? Depends on the day. Yeah, depends also if you're working late. Like I had a lot of scenes, I feel like season one, where I was like, I would be out or like, I, you know, you would be like the last one at work doing the last scene. But I watched a lot of comedy. I think The Office, I watched a lot of The Office. Um, yeah, a lot of comedy, actually, that's fun. What, but we also did things together, I feel like, on the yeah. weekends, like we did movies or we'd go out to dinner or like yeah. stuff like that. Season two in particular, I feel. Season two more so, yeah. I found us in groups more in season two. Not that we weren't close in season one, but maybe it's because I was working a lot in season mm. one, you know, because it was just Clay listening to the tapes and Clay was in 50% of the flashbacks, you know, whereas yeah. this year you have you spent a lot of time with other characters, so I had a little more free time and was able to kind of go and hang out with people that I didn't get to hang out with as much in season one. In between scenes, like, we take care of each other and we laugh a lot. The crew is wonderful. Um, we usually go out for drinks afterwards. Yeah, and we watch movies. We watch, I like, I always go, we go to like the theater like four times a week and just watch movies every single night. Yeah. 